What's up guys? I hope everyone's doing well. I wanted to go ahead and do a review on the uh, Meguiar's Detailer Non-Acid Wheel Anti-Air Cleaner. So I wanted to go ahead and try this out and uh, with, with usually with wheels, uh, wheel cleaners, I can go ahead and test them out right there and then. They're either going to work or they're not going to work. In this case, it's a little bit different and the reason why is because it's already made for you. They do sell a gallon version and um, you're able to dilute that. So that one would probably be a little bit better, but I don't know yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this one. It's already ready made. And uh, so I'm gonna get everything ready. Tires are horrible right now, wheels are horrible. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything ready right now and uh, we'll go ahead and try this out. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so as you can see, the uh, tires and rims kind of, they look trash, um, went muddy the other day. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, haven't been able to wash the vehicle. It's been uh, crazy weather, and also, too, I had ended up spraining my foot and uh, couldn't walk on it for almost about a week and a half or so. But I'm um, feeling a lot better now. And thought I'd go ahead and make the video. So on the bottle, it actually says to go ahead and hose down the, uh, the tires and the rims. But first, I wanted to go ahead and read the uh, the bottle here because this is very important because it says do not use on uncoated aluminum, anodized, magnesium, powder coated, aftermarket, or motorcycle wheels and painted or colored brake components. Okay, so right away you can see this stuff working already. Bottle is awesome. The sprayer, really, it works really, really well. Really digging it, and um, I was actually pretty excited when I saw the, uh, the the brown that was around the tires. I was like, okay, this stuff is probably gonna work. So I was pretty stoked. So for the first pass, I just wanted to see how the chemical was going to do. So uh, that's what I did. I let it dwell for a little less than 30 seconds. And um, you're not supposed to leave it on there for more than 30 seconds. So just wanted to see how it did on the first pass and just uh, knock it down with the water hose. And it actually did pretty good. Um, there was still some some uh, brake dust that was still left in there, which I was expected. The uh, pressure on the water hose is not strong at all. But uh, the reason for showing it with the water hose is because I know some people might not have a pressure washer. So that's the reason why I don't use the water hose sometimes. And now on this section, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, agitate, which is normally how I would use a chemical anyways. All right, guys, so as you can see, it cleaned the tires and the rims just very, very well. I was really, really impressed with this product. I totally dig it. I definitely want to try out the gallon so that way I can change down, mess with ratios and stuff like that. But I definitely give this one two thumbs up and recommend it. All right, guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and uh, hope everyone has an awesome day. Take care during these crazy times. Love y'all.